what's going on guys welcome back got another video for you guys here I'm kind of sick so if you hear me a little funny that's because of that but let's talk about what we got going on today so as I mentioned in my previous video I gotta bring the suspension inside the car because the coilovers are hitting the wheels and tires because they're so damn wide I want a square setup so the next choice was to bring it inside so as you can see I got this side kind of complete so what you're gonna see me do is this side over here so hopefully this will turn out as good as I think it will stay tuned to find out So what exactly am I doing here? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding. So let me show you this. So this right here is a cantilever, right? And the way it works is that you have a rod that replaces the uh, coilover, right? So the suspension will push up on it. That will push up on this and the other side will pressure, will put pressure on that coilover. So there's gonna be another one on this side and that's how it's gonna work pretty much. Now this is made out of plastic, I 3D printer um, to make sure it works. And then I'm gonna have to get it uh, CNC out of aluminum. But anyway, so first thing I did here is I drilled a hole where the bar is gonna come through. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uh, making these plates So this is essentially what it's gonna look like on the car. So I write it well all this on the outside, this piece right there to box it off. Out here that on the car is really difficult to weld on the car. No space whatsoever. And you gotta be kind of like upside down. Uh, none of those welds are gonna look good at all, but at least this over here I, I can I can manage to make it look decent. Anyways, uh I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up now and move on to the next. This is it for now. I'm still not welding it to that bar, but you can see it there. I only have one of those, so I can't put it over here, but you get the point. Now the, the coilover is gonna sit like this. Right on here is gonna be the mounting point. So I'm gonna make two of these guys. Now that I got these two guys done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the coilover from the car.
you can see right here they're hooked up to the uh, coil over there those are the ones that are mounted so now I'm gonna move on to that rod that goes down to the bottom of the suspension let me show you that what that looks like so it's hooked up here to where you used to uh, be at the coil over so it's going all the way up with a rubber grommet prevent any water or whatever to go up there uh, so I'm gonna do that now which I got right here the bar is already cut and ready to go rod ends go here and there and voila so I'm gonna go ahead and weld it alrighty guys sorry I didn't film this part welding that out here but I ran out of battery so I had to keep going I got this stacked in place I waited for the battery to charge so I'm gonna go ahead now and weld that up but that's uh, that's what it's gonna look like when it's all done this I'm gonna make this a little pretty I'm gonna pull some holes on it over there too just to make it look a little prettier uh, and then I'm gonna have to add another plate in the center here and I'm gonna do like a V a VAR that goes from there to there back down just because there's going to be a lot of loads in that center point and I don't want that bar to, to bend so I'm just gonna add a V in the bottom Alrighty guys, not sure where I left off, but uh, here is that. I don't have the one on the other side like I explained before because I don't have another plastic piece, but uh, it will look something like that, symmetrical, very cool looking. Um, these parts are being made right now out of billet aluminum, so that should be getting here soon. Uh, now, like I said, I'm going to work on this piece down here for the V-mount, but while I do that, I'm actually getting the glass installed today. So I got a company coming right now to install my new uh, windshield. So I'll probably show you that. Alrighty guys, check this out, glass is on. And it's raining like crazy outside. But anyways, uh, one step closer to having this thing completed. Alrighty guys, so I've been working on the background here uh, and I actually feel a lot better today, if you can notice on my voice. So I welded this plate right there and that one is to hold the V-mount that I talked about. So I got the two bent already and the plate's done so that I didn't record any of that, but I just got in the you know, I got in the mood, I started working, not recording, but anyway, here's the, uh, here's me welding that bar. have it I'm only holding it down with three bolts right now because I need to send it out to get powder coated uh, but as you can see that's that was my whole idea so when this thing puts low on here it gets distributed, distributed through here and down back to the chassis so it won't bend that bar across at any at any point so so yeah so I'm gonna take everything off now uh, all this over here and the ones in the bottom and send it out to get powder coated.
way to drop off all the parts to get powder coated at MA in Central Florida. So if you look them up on, on Facebook, I'm sure you'll find them. MA. I'm gonna put a link below here. Um, they do great work and the quality is top notch, so definitely check them out. So these bad boys just got here, billet aluminum, like I mentioned. Uh, the parts are getting powder coated right now. I believe they're done to be picked up. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that bar behind the car. This guy right here. So I'm gonna have to sand everything down here, tape it up, all the white, and then spray that orange. And then see if I can fix that, because I, I, I hit it with a drill bit there. And uh, I chipped off the paint, so uh, it'll probably be visible that fix but you know whatever at the end of the day it's a race car so it's bound to get scratches anyway i'm gonna go ahead and start working on that guys this is where I'm gonna end this video I'm starting to put this back together so I should be able to show you that on the next part so stay tuned see you next time